Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Monday edition of Grown Clip Bonsai for Seniors. My name is Tom Novak, and today is August 8th of 2022. It's Monday. It's 68 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 degrees Celsius. It's 8.30 in the evening. We got a nice soft rain most of the day, cloudy all day, but a nice fine rain coming down all day. That was good, a good soaking rain. Today we're going to do part two to Australian Native, plus the trees for Roy from Ted's because... I think this will be good for him because I'm going to put him in little pots. But we're going to do a green silk oak. Remember I did the yellow one? We're going to do a green one. I don't know if there's two different varieties. Those of you out in Australia know better than I. But it's the same. It's the Gravelia Robusta. And I'm going to use Ted's Cactus Mix. But you can see how nice and green it is. Look at that. And... It was only $4.99. <laughs> Who can beat a price like that? Remember the foam? So easy to cut. Watch. Regular knife. When it's dry, cuts like butter. What I did is, I put this one in the soak because we're going to take the, the top off the, the silk oak and we're going to put it in here and see if we can root it. You can see how, how nice and wet it is. And when it's dry, it's like that. But when you put water in it, it'll float. And the, the thing is, you've got to... Uh-oh, Pinkie Pie just fell and all the water's all over the place. Ah, live TV. <laughs> what do you got to do? Okay, Pinkie Pie, that's okay, baby. We're all right. We got the water all over the place. <laughs> got to clean that up later. But all I do is pour it in, just like that. Fill it up, and you got it. So, Mr. Elephant, we got to put you on the side here. And we got a lot of water. Don't cry, Pinky. We're good. Stuff happens. And I think everybody knows that. But that's live TV. What are you going to do? And you can see how fast the foam soaks it up after I cut it. <laughs> so we're going to leave the foam here and let up soak, it, soak up what it can. And Pinkie Pie, don't worry about it. we got the foam soaking it up. There we go. And then we're going to use it for a cutting. So first we're going to do... We're gonna, because it's so tall, I think we're going to cut it right here. We'll have this as our leader. So let me get my iron wood. This one's good for 5 eighths and under, this ratcheting pruner. So we're just going to get in there and just cut it. Nice clean cut. And then we're going to take our long nose from iron wood. And we're just going to cut the, the tips of the branches below the brain and all the other little brains just like that it's got a nice little smell to it when you cut it it's pretty good and then we're going to take some of our uh, clone clone x we're just going to dip it in and then, don't spill it, Tom. We spilled enough already. And we're just going to place it right in. Oh, you can't see it. We're going to place it right into the, to, to the foam. Just like that. It's in like flint. There you go. Look at that. Sorry, YouTube. Shouldn't have never said that. <laughs> but what are you going to do? In like flint. That was a movie. But there we go, and we'll see if it roots. We'll see if it roots in the foam. You never know, we we'll take a chance. Okay, so there we go. Man, this foam soaks it up pretty good. I can't believe it. Squeeze that all out. Don't worry, Pinky, we're all good. We're all good, okay, now. Let's see what's in our, uh, let's close up the Clonex so we don't get it contaminated. Now. I'm going to move all our tools out of the way. And you're saying, Tom, you're always advertising 
ironwood tools. You get a rake off on there. No, I don't. The rake off goes to you guys because they give you the discount. I don't get nothing from them except great tools. And that's what I appreciate. Great tools from ironwood. So don't worry about it. Buy the tools, get your get your little uh, discount, and go from there. And be it's it's a great great place to get great tools. So I'm doing my root rake underwater because I find it easier. And for those of you with arthritis, that's a good way to do it also. So let's put that there. And you can see the nice roots on there. It's, it's growing nice roots, so we're going to stick it in the water. And yes, it was out in the rain. I don't know what pot we're going to use because we don't. I don't know what how the roots are going to look. But when you put it in water, I know you can't see it. I have to look for a clear bucket. You can really, really comb the roots out a little bit easier. And less of a mess on the bench. So all I'm doing is just combing them out with the with the chapstick, and all that soil comes off real nice and easy. And we're also going to do, I think, uh, part three is going to be a tree. It grows on uh, tree farms in Australia and they use it for all most of their wood and kindling and building and everything plus the roots are a hundred feet in width Not, I mean long they spread a hundred feet long and so if it's planted next to house or stuff it grows and ruins the foundations ruins the, the sewer systems the Whatever they got, so you, they got to be planted far away from a house. Now, see by underwater root raking. I don't know if you like it, but look at how nice the roots are. See, they're all cleaned off. No mess, no fuss. There you go. Give it a try. Underwater root raking. Now, we're going to put the tree, move this closer to here. And. And you can see that our base is mainly up to here. And this is the tap root that's grown from here. So we're going to take our ratcheting pruner. We're going to make a nice clean cut right there. And we still got a nice bunch of lovely roots growing. Look at that. Now. I think it will look good in this pot right here. But it might be a little high because of this tap root still being long. So I don't want to cut too much. Let me cut down just a little bit more. Just so we can get in because there's, there's nice roots growing. I mean, this thing's growing nice. If we put it in this way, I think the tree and the pot look good. So let's give it a try. Okay, let me put the roots into the water until we get everything going. Now this is the soil I get from Ted's greenhouse. He's all the way in Tinley Park, so give him a try if you're out in Tinley Parkway. He's got good stuff. Good stuff. Excellent little trees for bonsai. So I got this one already started. Because he was out of the bushel. You can get the, the small bag like this. It's a one gallon bag for $3.99. And he also sells a bushel for $12.99. But they were all out of it. So let me get my little. And you remember this is how it looks. It's got the lava rock in there. Look at that. Look how nice. With the peat and the perlite. So let me hold the screen down. Get that in there. Just like that. And let's get our Mikus so we don't forget. Put it in. 
I have to buy more Azus. Now, get the tree out of the pot. Give it a good shaking. There we go. Look how nice this thing is. I think we can have this as the front. Or as this. Either way. But, we'll spread our roots out like that. Just like that. And, Tom, what'd you do with your spray bottle? It's right here. Give it a little squirt there to get the soil a little bit moist. We'll put the, the uh, cactus mix in there real nice. I love this soil mix because Ted's got a real good cactus mix. Fast draining. It's got, it's got the, lo the lava rock in there. I mean, it's a great soil mix. Okay, so let's hold this up straight. Let's get our, get everything pushed in. Into the roots. Pack a little bit, just like that. Now we're gonna give the roots a little spray. I mean the soil. I get all this combobulated sometimes, so be patient. So is our tree straight? No. So we gotta get some more of our soil mix in there. Uh, you know what? I'll use my hands. There we go. Remember when you were a kid? You got dirty? So what? You loved it. The worst part about getting dirty is your mother made you have to take a bath. That was miserable. As a kid, you didn't want to take a bath. There we go. It felt good playing in the dirt. The smell of the soil. Everything. There we go. Nice and firm. Just like that. I'll have to get my lipstick behind the board later. I don't want to drop everything all over the place. And we're pretty straight. And, let's see, we don't, we can take a couple of these lower branches off. So, get this poker branch out of the way, just like that, just like that. There you go, don't be afraid to give it a try. Hey, for $4.99, I got the yellow and the dark green. I mean, give it a shot. And we don't have to uh, put anything here, any fancy soil or nothing. But what's missing on this planting from Australia? I bet you the, all those who live in Australia know what I'm talking about. Let's get Mr. Elephant. Let's get a little watering in here so we get the water through. I think this black pot does it justice. There we go. So, I think this should be our front right there. So how are we gonna mark our front? Well, first we're gonna put the, the name of the tree behind it, like that. And in Australia, they have rabbits. So we're going to put our two rabbits in there looking at all you guys out in Australia saying, Hiya, mate. How you doing? And this is in there nice and firm and good. And I think this pot looks good for it. With the dark green and the trunk and the black, I think that's pretty good. So, now I bet you're all wondering what I'm doing going to do for Roy. So let's put this guy on the side. We didn't need this pot. There's Pinky. She feels better. She dropped all her stuff. See, she's crying there with the tears rolling down her eyes. I says, don't worry about it. Accidents happen. So let's put this guy over here. Now I'll show you what I got because I think this will go good for Ted. And what I'm going to do is, and thank you, Zen, for maybe bonsai for giving us the suggestion about the, 
the uh, lavender because look at the lavenders we got. All $3.99. And look at the trunk on them. So I'm going to try to be planting them into these little pots that I got from the Dollar Tree, old dollar and a quarter tree now. And uh, I think you know, they're a little crooked, but once we get them out of the pot, we'll straighten them out. But look at the trunks on them. Real nice trunks. And the Moujon tea. Look at these babies. They'll fit in this little pot real nice. And look at the nice leaves on them. Look at that. And it's got a nice little trunk starting. Let me turn it around so you can see the other ones. And you make, this is an herbal tea. You take the leaves and you make an herbal tea out of it. Look at that. Nice little trunk. I think we'll just snip the tops, but I'll do the video on planting these because we got the bay leaf tree to plant and all the other ones. But look at that. Nice little trees that go in little pots. So I'm going to have to drill the pots out. And uh, these should drill out pretty easy. I'll probably use my three quarter for Forster bit. But if you're out by Ted's, out in Tinley Park, Go out there and give them a visit. They got all kinds of trees there, all kinds of herbs that you can use as bonsai trees. They got all kinds of uh, scented geraniums. I mean, it's it's great out there. So it's Tuesday night. Thank you all for coming. And Tuesday night is detective night. And I don't know if I can get. Uh, Jack Webb from Dragnet to get over here and figure out why the heck do these cords tangle like this in a knot? It must be the, uh, I don't know, the night terror coming in here and tying all this stuff in that. Look at that. And all I do is go like this and put it away. So how does this get in a knot? Jack Webb or the Whistler or the Shadow? sneak down here tonight and see what the heck's going on because I don't know how these things get in a knot. So put on some good detective shows, old time radio detective shows or from the 50s, uh, Highway Patrol with Broderick Crawford, 10-4 and uh, sit down with a cup of tea. I'm going to have one because it's a little chilly tonight. After all that heat and you get the 68 degrees, you get the chill in the bone. So a cup of tea to take it out and enjoy a good radio show and don't forget to try a silk oak. I mean, it, these things are beautiful little trees, and I don't know. They look good to me. And part three, we'll do the eucalyptus, because I'm going to plant them. And that's the ones where the roots grow 100 feet in a radial direction, not down, out. They grow through foundations if they're close to the house. They grow through the septic tanks and through the, through the plumbing, so... I know you guys in Australia know more than I do, so if I'm wrong, let me know, but that's what I read. So you guys take care and have a good night, and remember, we'll have to see who the villain is that's doing this to me. <laughs> take care, everybody.